Hey everyone, welcome back to Bitwise Smarter, the channel that makes boring tech installs feel like cheat codes for your career. Today we are installing Microsoft SQL Server on Windows 11, and yes, we'll also set up that fancy management studio everyone talks about. By the end, you'll have your own database running like a boss. Let's go. Open your favorite browser. Type Microsoft SQL Server. Click the link that says Microsoft.com SQL Server. That's the real deal. No sketchy download sites today. Click Downloads and scroll a little. You'll see various versions. We are going to download the Express version, which is the free edition. It is ideal for development for desktop and small server applications. Now click Download. Once it's downloaded, open your Downloads folder and double click the file. The setup window opens and you'll see three options, basic, custom and download media. Unless you enjoy reading installation manuals for fun, go with basic. It's fast and does everything automatically. Click accept, nod wisely and move on. You'll see where SQL server will be installed, usually under this path. Now click install and let the magic happen. This is the perfect time to stretch, sip coffee or question your life choices. Up to you. When you see setup successful, give yourself a tiny fist bump. You just installed a full database engine. You'll also see few folders listed, logs, media and resources plus a connection string if you ever need to connect from Python or Power BI. Click Connect Now to test it. Next, let's grab SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS. Click the Install SSMS link on your setup screen. It'll open Microsoft's download page. Click Download SQL Server Management Studio. When it's done, click and open the installer. Click Continue. You'll see an Install button. Click it. Now wait for it to install. When it's finished, click Close. You're officially ready to manage databases like a pro. Now go to the start menu, type SQL Server Management Studio and open it. You can just skip and add accounts later or create your own Microsoft account. Now to get the server name, go to Browse, Local, and there you should be able to find the server name. Click it. Now click Trust Server Certificate and click Connect. And if you see the Object Explorer appear, congratulations, your SQL server is up and running. Yay! Let's make something cool. At the top, click New Query and type this command Create Database. And give it any name. I'm going to type bitwise db. Now click execute. If you see commands completed successfully, right click on databases, click refresh, and say hello to your brand new database. And that's it. SQL Server and SSMS are ready on your Windows 11 machine. You just went from where do I even start to I have my own database in a few minutes. If this saved you some stress, give it a like, hit subscribe and thanks for watching. And as always, keep learning smarter with Bitwise Smarter.